Yo guys, Aaron here. I'm going to talk some more about playing Warzone Mobile with a controller. If you guys watched my last video, I showed you guys how to connect your controller to your device. As well as some of the HUD settings you should use when playing Warzone Mobile with a controller. Now I want to go over one of the most commonly asked questions from that video, and it's how to remap the buttons on the controller. Now of course one of the main things people like to do is change the melee button, because since the melee button is to push in the right stick, people would much rather have that be like a movement based action instead, like crouching slash sliding or jumping. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now there is no actual in-game options in Warzone Mobile to do this, but you can do it through the iOS settings. Now I don't have an Android device, so I can't test this on Android, whether something similar like this would work on Android. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. I will pin your comment if someone has a solution for Android. But this is an iOS tutorial, sadly, but again, if someone knows in the comments for Android, I will pin your comment. So make sure to let us know. But what you want to do for iOS is make sure your controller is connected to your device. Go to General in the iOS settings. And you're going to see a Game Controller option. You want to tap on that. Then you're going to see that your controller should be connected here. And you're going to see Profile. So there's a default one. You want to add a profile. And then you're going to see all the customization options you can make with the controller. For PS5, you can like change like, the light on the controller, which is pretty cool. The haptic feedback. And of course, all the buttons. So change it to whatever you want. And then what I would do was name the profile Warzone Mobile, so you know this controller setup is for Warzone Mobile. Click Done. Now to actually like equip this profile you just made, you can actually tap on the DualSense Wireless Controller, which should be connected still. Tap on Default, which is what the controller is going to be, or have already selected. Then tap Default again next to Use Profile, and select the Warzone Mobile profile you just made. And there you go, your controls should all be set up to whatever you wanted it to be remapped to. And of course this works for an Xbox controller plus any other controller you're trying to use. Now some other questions I had from the last video I posted. One was about dead zones. You cannot change that sadly. Hopefully in the future they add that option in Warzone Mobile, which I'm sure they will eventually, hopefully. Another option was to have auto attack sprint with a controller, which again, that does not exist in the settings sadly, but hopefully they do add that in the future. But yeah, the control, the controller settings in Warzone Mobile are pretty bare. Like you, you can only change the sensitivity, and it's like just one default sensitivity. There's no like ADS sensitivity, which kind of sucks. So, control support is not really that great for Warzone Mobile, to be honest. Like it's fine the way it is right now; it's playable, but it could be so much better. But of course, there's gonna be a bunch of updates, some smaller ones for the next like week or so, and then one major one April 3rd when Season 3 starts. So, hopefully, they add some new settings there, some fixes and that kind of stuff. We'll see what happens. Not exactly sure how high on the list controller support is for what they're trying to update right now because there's definitely a lot of other issues with the game, but we'll see. But anyways, let me know in the comments below though. If you guys have questions on how this works, how to remap the controls, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.